Salutations everyone, today we're going to be talking about old Call of Duties and specifically the change.org petition that has over 100,000 signatures right now to make a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 HD edition, which makes no sense because it's already in HD. It just, it came out just in the last generation guys, everything was in HD on the 360 and PS3, that's kind of how it works. Remastered is the word that you're looking for. So they want a remastered Mono Warfare 2. The language in the petition was very bad and they cited Zampella as, uh, or they cited West as the CEO of Activision, which hasn't been true for many years, but what have you. People have been wanting a, uh, a new remastered edition of COD 4 and or Modern Warfare 2 and or World at War and or COD 2 uh, because those are their favorite CODs. It's what they feel nostalgic for. The nostalgia factor is, is big with gamers. We have had a lot of different HD remastered things like with the Halo collection and with like a Wind Waker and DuckTales, you know, the older something is, the more people have nostalgia for it and the more people that played it during that heyday, uh, the more that they feel passionate about it. And Modern Warfare 2 was not the COD that put the game on the map, um, but it definitely exploded its multiplayer and made it into the yearly juggernaut that it is now. And a lot of people look back at it with rose-tinted glasses, and I've played a lot of Modern Warfare 2. I just played it yesterday, in fact. And I've, I've played it a lot throughout the years, and the game ages worse and worse as the years go on. The game is its still broken, guys. its It's hacked you know to all hell of course has been you know since it was in its heyday and it still has all the problems that it had before oh but if we remaster it we can make the changes really they're gonna have someone one of these uh, so probably one of the three cod developers because there's a three year cycle now so you know everyone needs to be working on their next game um because of you know the demands that's a new generation title demands from a developer so who's going to be making this game let's say it's one of the three um or they get a new company on board whatsoever you think they're going going to go in remaster mono warfare 2 or cod 4 or what have you and make all of the necessary changes as well if they were to remaster mono warfare 2 they would have to get rid of you know, all the death streaks they'd have to get rid of uh you know uh danger close they'd have to get rid of one man army they'd have to get rid of noob tubes they'd have to get rid of spawn trapping they have to get rid of spawn killing they have to get rid of the acr they'd have to get you know all the they have to balance the guns better than they were uh, in the past and uh, you know fix you know the maps that are broken they're not, they're not gonna do that guys they're not gonna do that it's not within Activision's best interest to do so oh but I would love it and so many other people a hundred thousand people sign this petition so obviously you know a lot of people would buy it Activision is throwing away money if they don't do this well that's not necessarily the case guys sure Activision is a business and it's all about money but that doesn't mean remastering an old game is within their best interest they haven't remastered any Call of Duty outside of the first one which they made a digital edition for which you got if you pre-ordered the uh, special edition of Modern Warfare 3 and they did that because uh, COD 1 was the only COD that wasn't on uh, the previous generation of consoles so they made that possible and they haven't remastered one since and it would make take much more effort to remaster any of the newer Call of Duties. Uh, just because you know the the amount of graphical intensity and the work that that would put in to you know give it a fresher face and make it work uh, at least as well as it did in the past hopefully if not better if they were to decide to do so but that is assuming they actually even have you know the legal precedent to do so because remember they're falling out with infinity ward with you know the weston zampella led infinity ward uh the huge falling out that they had uh, who knows if it is within their best interest to release a COD? You know, do they have the legal rights to do so? Probably, but it is that within their best interest because you know they probably have to pay royalties to the old uh, you know CEO and, and producers of you know the older Call of Duty games that all of you guys love so much, and that's not within their best interest to do so. They don't want to have to uh, to pay people that they had a falling out with. That makes sense to me it should make sense to you and it i just don't think it's going to happen they're just uh you know there might be a couple obstacles in the way but even so if there weren't uh there's other things that you have to take into account for 
COD is a three year development cycle. They're always focused on the new COD. They wouldn't split up all the attention and the profits with an older HD remastered collection or release. They just wouldn't do that. Their biggest game is always what their current and or soon to be Call of Duty is. They're not going to split up that limelight, even if they released it in like June or something that's, you know, as far away from the new November release as it could be. Um, they're not going to they're not going to split that up. They want to, you know, push forward their their current COD because that's going the one that's always going to be the most populated. That's all the ways the one that's going to be selling the most. Uh, regardless of how awesome you thought the old Call of Duty was that's your favorite, none of them are going to sell as well as the new one because the new one's new. The new one appeals to the old and the new. Maybe not as much as the old as you know you would hope for. Maybe you really, really want Mono Warfare 2 or COD 4 or some other COD to be released and that would be your bread and butter forever and ever. But realize, these games are all filled with problems. They're not as good as you think they are. If you think they are, go back to it even if they changed all the problems there's all kinds of other roadblocks in the way i just don't think it's gonna happen sorry to uh sorry to uh spoil your fun but it's just something that is quite far-fetched and not something that i think it will be uh, in activision's plans going forward if it was just the campaigns maybe but as far as multiplayer goes it ain't happening sorry guys